Hey everybody, I'm Grumpus. Welcome to Grumpus on Fire. Well today I thought I'd show you one of the many ways I make chili. Today we're going to do it in the Dutch oven over the Lone Star Grill firebox. This is all part of Colab. The Gulf Coast Granny started a few weeks back. It's open to anybody who would like to participate. Just be sure and put the hashtag chili cook-off challenge and you'll end up on the playlist with everybody else's entry. So let's get this pot started. For our base ingredients, I've chopped up two medium yellow onions. I've got about six cloves of garlic. I've got a medium green bell pepper and a medium red bell pepper. And I've got about a pound and a half of brisket flat. We'll soften all this stuff up and get it going with a little extra virgin olive oil. For our dry ingredients, I've got four heaping tablespoons of chili powder. I've got a tablespoon of chipotle chili. Got a tablespoon of ancho chili. I've got a tablespoon of oregano. A quarter tablespoon of celery seed. And a tablespoon of Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. Of course, we'll need a little cooking liquid. So I'm going to use some stewed tomatoes, can, maybe two if it needs it, as well as some beef stock. Our Dutch oven is heated up a little. Just put a little bit of oil in it. Just enough to keep those onions from sticking. I've got a medium fire. I just added a log to it. I saw it cooled off just a little bit. That'll be alright. We don't want to burn these onions. Got everything coated. Let's go ahead and put our bell peppers in it. Our red and our green. And I'm going to go ahead and put our six cloves of garlic. I'll cover those up for a minute while our fire starts up. There we go. Looks like our fire has kicked in good. These are sweating down really nice. Look how much liquid that gave off. Let's go ahead and add our brisket to this. Now the measurements are not exact. You know, it just depends on the size of your pot, how much leftover brisket you got, how much onion you got on hand. Just kind of make it to your taste. This is going to make quite a bit of chili. This will last us a few meals. Get all stirred in real good. The meat should start soaking up a little bit of those juices. Now most of that brisket's probably going to render down pretty good, so it should be just fall apart by the time we're done here. At this point, I think we need to go ahead and add our seasonings, our dry seasonings. Get those mixed in real good. I'm doing it before I add liquid, so that if there's any lump, especially that chili powder, a good chance to break them up we hit it with our liquid. Let's add our first can of tomatoes. Well, the tomatoes are going to cook down pretty good. I think it's going to take the other can. It's going to be hard to wait on this to finish up. It smells so good already. The 
Let's go ahead and add our beef stock. Go ahead and add a little bit more than you think you're going to need because this is all going to cook down. Some of it's going to evaporate out and it'll thicken up. I like the looks of that. Now if you notice I didn't put any salt and pepper in this. Our rub that we used on our brisket that bark had quite a bit of salt and pepper on it. So we're going to let this cook down for a bit. We'll test it in about an hour. Taste it and see if it needs any salt and pepper adjustment. You can always add salt. Kind of hard to take it out once you put too much. Come back and check on that in an hour. While we wait for the chili to cook down, I've got the bulb of one green onion. And to that, I'm going to add one can of black beans with the liquid. I guess the comment section is officially open. Give that a quick stir. And we'll put this on the hot plate alongside the chili. Let them warm through. It has been an hour. Let's check the progress. Oh uh, yeah. Looks like the brisket is cooked down pretty good. Nothing seems to be stuck on the bottom. Tell you what, I think I'm ready to pull this. This cooked a little quicker than I thought it would. Let's get it off the heat a little bit. Crank the fire up. I got one more thing to show you. I'm going to take my parchment paper. Hold it four ways. Take my cast iron skillet. Put this point right in the middle. Take my fingernail and just kind of mark it. And I'll just cut that out. And there we go. Spray our pan up. That'll help that stick. There. Already. I've got two thirds of a cup of milk. To that, I'm going to add my eggs. There's one, two. You're making two boxes. You get that stirred up real good. I'm going to add one box of cornbread. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't see the need to reinvent the wheel. Get that mixed in real good. Dump our other box in. Instead like of making a double batch. Now you don't want to overbeat this. It's pretty get tough on you. To that, I'm going to add one diced poblano pepper in the pool. 
my regular viewers have heard me say before my wife don't like things really really hot so instead of jalapenos which I prefer I usually use poblano they're usually milder than a jalapeno but they're kind of hit and miss sometimes you get a hot one there we go slide that into our prepared pan Get as much of that goodness out of there as we can. Give it a little shake. I generally like to let my cornbread mix set up just for a few minutes, maybe two. I don't know if it does anything, but I've always done it that way. I get so many comments asking me about the blister paint on my firebox. Well, that firebox and the paint's got to be screaming hot right about now. The box says 20 minutes. Let's check and see if we're done. Perfect. I think we'll just let that sit maybe two, three minutes, give that cornbread a chance to pull from the sides, and then we'll pop it out. Let's run around this and make sure we aren't stuck. Feels pretty good. All right, let's flip it out on a plate. There we go. Just back on our other plate. How does that look? Here we are. For me, that's the perfect consistency right there. All that brisket in there, peppers. I think it's time to fix this a plate. Well, let's see how we did. Oh, if that don't look hardy, what does? I like to put a little crema on mine. I like a little squeeze of lemon, or I'm sorry, lime. I got some green onions. And for mine, don't laugh, I like a little cilantro. And to finish everything off, we'll come back to a little queso fresco. And we can't forget our cornbread. They probably should have melted that butter a little bit, huh? There we go. Well, that's my plate. Let's fix the wife's plate. We'll get her a little bit of beanless chili. And she likes the beans. We try to please everybody here. Put some beans right here in the middle. You mix that in when she's ready. Come back with a creme fraiche. 
crema. I'm also going to give her a squeeze of lime. There's our green onion. She doesn't like cilantro, so we're not going to give her any. But we put, we'll put some cheese on there for her. And I know her. She's going to want a big hunk of cornbread, too. So are you on team no bean or team bean? Let me know in the comments below. Nothing left to do now but try. Oh, that sure looks good to me. And it is screaming hot through this bowl. Let's see if I can try some here without scalding myself. <laughs> Second opinion. Oh yeah, that brisket. I'll tell you what. That is some good stuff. Try a piece of this cornbread. Cornbread baked on the offset smoker. Look at that. Want some fluffy? Mm hmm. You know, I make cornbread by scratch. But it ain't that much better than this. These little blue boxes, hard to beat. I'll follow that up a little more chili. Well, I'm not gonna eat that whole thing in front of you, but I want to. Hey, this is a great idea, Gulf Coast Franny Head. I'll leave a link to her channel up above. And as I understand it, this is open to anybody that wants to participate. Throw a video up on how you make your chili and how you like it. And make sure you add hashtag chili cook-off challenge onto the description. That way, anybody that clicks on that will automatically go to a playlist and see what everyone had to offer. Hey, if you like what we did today, uh, hit the thumbs up for me. If you hadn't subscribed yet, why not? We'd sure appreciate it if you want to do that. And be sure and share this video with all your friends. I really appreciate you tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. I'm Grumpus, and we'll see you next time. Oh, honey, it's so good. Yeah, I put my best man on it.